stop it. Go to blendermarket.com. Search for plant library. Download plant library for free. This will create a new asset library within Blender. Look at all these options you have to choose from. By adding one asset to your scene, you can create a cool geometry node setup. If you want more details on how to do this, check out this video here. You can create cool scenes with these assets that take less power than using the particle system within Blender. Here's cool scenes that I made. What do you think? Wow. Go back to blendermarket.com and search for Alt Tab Oceans. Purchase for free 50. Install the add-on the same way we installed the plant library. In the side tab you have different oceans to choose from. You can also choose different materials as well. That's pretty cool. Wow! Here's a short animation I made with this add-on. Tell me what you think in the comments below. For this add-on, you just need to stay in the blender and go to edit and choose preferences and choose add-ons and then choose real snow and then you have the add-on real snow. In the sidebar, you'll see the real snow add-on. Select each part of your scene and then click real snow because then it would add real snow to it. This add-on is cool because you can just choose any object you want and then you add real snow to it and it looks like real snow. Look how cold this scene looks. That's really cold because it has real snow on it. Go to Google and search Blender Market Psych Blender Labs and click on the link. Click on Astrolab Free Space Assets for Blender. This has a special five finger right. discount for zero dollars and zero cents. Download that sh** to your computer. In Blender go to add-ons and install the Astrolab add-on. Then go to file paths. Add a new asset library. Choose the presets folder you downloaded from the internet. Go to the asset browser in Blender. Choose the presets folder you downloaded from the internet. And just like magic, you have access to all of these different planets and asteroids and black holes and galaxies and stuff to drag into your scene to make it really cool looking. You have different options as well to change the look and feel of each planet or asteroid or black hole or nebula or galaxy that you add to your scene to make it look cool. Look, I made this planet look pink and green at the same time. Now I'm going to add asteroids and man, does that look cool or what? Now I'm adding another planet that's pure fire and making it look really cool next to the other planet that's pink and green. But then I deleted the fiery planet and then I added a black hole behind the planet and it looks really cool, don't you think? Go back to Blender Labs because there's really good free stuff there. Click Skylab Free Sky and Atmosphere System for Blender. Hmm, zero is a good price because it's free. Install this add-on the same way you installed the other add-ons except for that real snow add-on. Click Skylab. In the side tab, you'll see all these options for different sky labs. You can change the atmosphere, the air, temperature, the density, add clouds, take away clouds, whatever you want. It's your scene. I don't care. The only thing I care about is that you use these add-ons to make cool things like this. This is really cool because there's a tank and you can make it look really cool and lonely and sad. Like just have like everything else in my life. Look how sad that tank looks just looking into the sunset. I hope you liked this video. Please like and subscribe. Peace.